Do you know why free trials renew without your consent? It's a business scam out to get you. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions. Truebill is a new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forget about. Because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your account and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. I love Truebill because it's shown me all the unused subscriptions I have and it has saved me lots of money because of it. I use Truebill and so should you. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash think. Go right now. Truebill.com slash think. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com dot com slash think it's officially 2022 and now it is time to set your wellness routine into action and prioritize your health care of allows your vitamin routine to be personal easy effective and constantly evolving care of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins and powders conveniently to your door every month take a short in-depth quiz about your health goals and lifestyle and get a personally tailored recommendation based on your answers. I took the online quiz. It recommended ashwagandha, which I love, B complex, collagen, and vitamin C. It was so easy to take and now I know exactly what vitamins I need. For 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code THINK50. For 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code THINK50. Welcome to the Think Loud Crew podcast. Three moms getting real with parenthood, relationships, and the WTF moments of our daily lives. My name is R. Kyle Lynn. I'm Cheyenne Floyd. And I'm Shannon. This week, we invited our friends from Baby Mama's No Drama to come on the podcast. We had so much fun and hope you guys enjoy. Like, I feel like you're tall, Kel. <laughs> I am. You're the I'm first the person mom. to, like, know before I'm I meet tall. them. <laughs> The first thing that people say to me all the time is, oh my God, you're way taller in person. And I'm like, yikes. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, how, tall are you? Really how do tall. I take that? I'm five eight. <laughs> okay. I did not know that. I always thought you were short. See? Like everyone just <laughs> I don't I mean, know. I think anyway. everyone assumes that I'm tall. So when they meet me in person, they're always very disappointed. <laughs> how tall are you? Not disappointed. Disappointed. They'd be like, oh, you're so small. I'm like, <laughs> how tall are you? I'm only 5'2". Oh, <laughs> I would have never made you 5'2". <laughs> you know, you have a tall right. personality. So funny. Have, like, sorry, I'm like, sorry, I'm not tall. <laughs> so <laughs> funny. 5'2". That's more. No. I love it. Yeah, people get really disappointed. High five. I'm so scared. <laughs> That's so <laughs> funny. Your height. I'm five ten. <laughs> Yeah, you're it's tall. Going out there. I'm like, I don't know. How tall are you? 5'10. Okay, so we're 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 here. We're here. Yeah, yeah. and I'm 5'8. Yeah. So we're all yeah. taller than 5'8. So you guys are all like normal size. I stick to 5'8. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be God's favorite? <laughs> so small. I'm 5'8. No, you're not. I just like to say I'm not. Shannon, Shannon's tall <laughs> to be short. My baby didn't be short, so I like to say I'm short. <laughs> How tall is Robert? Like five five? No, I don't. Maybe I'm he, taller than him. He always says my baby dad is really short. Like he's like, Aww. but he Aww. likes to say that we're the same height. I'm like, that's no, I'm like, dude, I have to look down. Look down to you. <laughs> My ex-husband wore inserts in his shoes at our wedding. I'm Wait. Done. Two inch inserts. No way. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. 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 Yeah. Are you dead ass? I'm dead ass. Diane is actually considering not wearing heels. Just because, like, her and Zach. I wore flats. Yeah, because you don't, like, and I feel like everybody, except for the one, uh, Jordan, when I dated him when I was, like, 19, uh-huh. he was the only one that was taller than me. Like, I don't, 
I never meet men that are taller than me. So like, I can't wear heels. I'd look like a dinosaur, first of all. And second of all, like, no. I'm so lucky when I put my heels on, me and Joe were like the same. We were, same kind of, we were almost at the, well, not we were, yeah, we were at the same, almost. He was still a little bit taller, but. Yeah, um, we were like, at wedding so dresses funny. last week. And my mom is like, you didn't bring heels. I'm like, I don't want to wear heels. Number one, just because I want to be comfortable. I don't yeah. want to be in heels. I just don't. And yeah. when I'm in heels, me and Zach are kind of leveled. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I don't works. like that vibe. I want to feel right. I want to feel small. You want to feel right, small. right. Yeah, yeah. Small. yeah. I, only no, I get it. My heels. I only wear my heels for like the, um, what I guess when we said our vows and our whatever when we the did ceremony, that. The ceremony, ceremony, and then for the and then for the reception, I was straight up in my flats. Like I just yeah, be comfortable. And all my Did you guys set a date? Yeah, and so my- September 29th oh. next year. And the ceremony's on grass, which also makes me feel like I yeah, should wear you flats. Don't want to be comfortable. Yeah. I'm the one to bust my ass. Or the, your heel will like sink into yeah, the, grass. the grass. Yeah. yeah. I, all I, let my grass. Wear, I, I let all of them wear like cute sandals. Oh, yeah. What are the bridesmaids going to wear? You guys are going to wear heels. <laughs> Y'all wearing heels, so don't get any <laughs> Let me start practicing now because. We'll be out there looking like dinosaurs. I promise you. I just like I'm so I'm gonna be a dinosaur. Don't worry. Okay, try to like one step at a time. Do you want to be a dinosaur? Are you guys the same height? I don't know. I've never. No, I've I've never I don't, he might I don't be five. He might be five eight. Height. Yeah, he's probably like five eight. I don't care about height. I did never even ask him his height. <laughs> I love it. That's how much I care. <laughs> how long have you guys been married? Oh, uh, we've only been married three years, but we've been together for ten. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's a long time. It is a long That's time. longer than I can say. It's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> For a very long time. Body, like more than like four years. I love that you were about to say four months. <laughs> I was like, dang, girl. Don't put yourself out there like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I feel like it's before so we started, we were sitting here talking. These two didn't realize that you guys, like, they kept on saying baby mama's no drama, but then I think it clicked that mm-hmm. you guys, guys are literally baby mamas with no drama she's a wife i'm a baby mama she's a wife <laughs> we're, still, we're still the baby's mamas though it was more of like a playoff of words that i came off yeah with. no that's cool yeah. i thought it was cool it was a rabbit hole and i was like wait a minute <laughs> they're not just doing this as like friends like this right. is really yeah and you guys yeah. can i thought I, it was really cool i really love that how did you guys end up being doing this podcast together so I had another podcast that I do with right. my my friend Lindsay uh-huh. and V texted me I guess last year and she was like we should do a podcast called baby mama's no drama and I was like okay but I was and, like totally kidding <laughs> and then six weeks from then we had the podcast we were, we were working together and doing the whole thing and um yeah, I think people like don't realize it's more of like a play on words, but like we definitely still have drama. Like there's definitely still drama, but you know, yeah. you guys get it. Yeah. yeah. There's always still there's going to be something. <laughs> I like, keep on trying to picture like Taylor and I doing that. Like working together. Are you guys friends or no? Yeah, are you guys friends? Yeah, we're cool. We it, it didn't start off that way. Mm-hmm. Us um, either. It, ne- it was never like a huge like argument it was nothing like that it was just more so of like I think we thought like maybe some of the timeline was a little weird and mm-hmm. just how things happened was um, just un- I would say it was more so uncomfortable for both of us mm-hmm. and then having her around Ryder for me when it was like she's just coming mm-hmm. around Corey it was like what are we doing like how are we yeah how are we parenting? Like what kind of co-parenting style are we about to have? You know? And yeah. I just wasn't comfortable with having someone that I didn't know around my like brand new child. Sure. So it was a little rough start, I would say, but now present day, like we're, 
we're good. Like if I need anything done, I go to her. Like it's yeah. easier to communicate with her. I mean, if Joe doesn't text me back, I just text V like, Hey, yeah. can you tell Joe? Which is like, like, which is like all the time. <laughs> yeah. He will straight up never. ignore me. And I'm like, can you tell your husband to check his phone? Because Don't I'm sick of this. He never checks his phone. I'll have his mom texting me, his sister texting me, his, oh, brother, all the texts. his baby mama texting you. His whole family literally goes to me. Like, can you tell Joe to text me back or call me back? I'm like, yo, yeah. I'm like, just use your fucking phone. You can use it for everything else. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had to call or text Taylor to get to Corey. Like, and you're like, I know what it is. It makes it to me. It's a lot easier to communicate yeah. with her, and then there's never any like gray area. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but that's kind of what we do. And then as far as like birthdays, everything like we try to do every. We do all writers' birthdays together. Mm-hmm. Um, in the past, we did a lot of holidays together. Now, I think the dynamics are changing just because they have a daughter and now we have <laughs> yeah, the kid. So it's like, yeah. everything. we're trying to figure out, like, how it's does this work? work? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I would definitely say that my situation with Javi and his second son's mom is more similar to what you were describing of you and Taylor. Like, timeline is weird. This is an adding up kind of thing. And so we've never been able to work through that. And I mean, it's been four, three, four years. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't V, when did we start getting along? Like it was there. Was, I can't believe it's been that long already. Um, like, I think we, we've been getting along way longer than we were beefing. <laughs> like we've been getting along for years. Yeah. Like, was, I, think that, I don't I also feel like a lot of the majority of the time in the beginning like we had I guess quote unquote our beef but then we didn't we never like talked to each other like we weren't like fucking with each other for a long time but it wasn't like beef but it just was it was just like we just don't communicate you know like it was just like we were yeah. life in yeah. yeah it was just like so that what flipped it? like what flipped the switch <laughs> for you guys to get along and now work together right we actually didn't know this but joe had said something to both of us separately that was basically like if anything happens to me my kids will never have a relationship so it was like if if joe was to not be here tomorrow vivi and isaac would never we hate each other so much that we would never get them together and you know, we just actually found out last year that that was the same light bulb that went off at the same time when Joe said that to us, that was like, okay, we obviously need to make a change. Like we, this isn't really about us. And, you know, Joe, I don't want to be with Joe. Joe doesn't want to be with me. What am I really beefing with V for? Like, what is, what is the purpose? I think after not- a while too, like, it was like, we kind of like, we, we had beef for so long. So it was like, we had to kind of just leave it. We were like, this is just what it is, but I don't feel like I never like, hated her like I was never like oh I hate her to the point where I would have you know not have had a relationship with you if Joe was to pass god forbid I don't think that would have been the case like I was I'm like telling him like I you think I hate her like I really don't hate her I think I you just have gone to this point so we kind of don't know how to turn it back around like we were already like at the point where we just didn't like each other we never had a relationship like that's just kind of how it was for so long so I think we just didn't know how to turn it around yeah so I think we just kind of left it alone like for so long without knowing like it could have been so easy and then um I remember the first time you and Javi came to our uh our condo in Bonefield remember yeah New Jersey it was a little awkward (laughs) they filmed like our first interaction (laughs) they filmed our first yeah it was really really awkward it was the most awkwardest thing I wish they weren't there honestly (laughs) Cause it was such like a, it was just me and Kale have never been like in the same room like that for so long. You're like, hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> and then we, and then we, like, we ended up like really getting along and then we all went out to like uh, a diner. Yeah. It was just so funny, but like so awkward. It was just me, Joe, Javi and Kale just sitting there with the baby and Lincoln was well, like, I had Lincoln. <laughs> it was like a newborn. <laughs> So it like, was definitely weird. And then they're just sitting there at the dining, the diner table telling us like, when are you guys going to have a kid? When are you guys going to move to Delaware? And I'm like, whoa, like pump your fucking brakes. Like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Joe were like, what the hell? <laughs> but, it was, but now looking back, it's like, it's so funny because that's exactly what happened. What happened? <laughs> but I'm so think about you guys working together now. I just feel like it came like, like such full circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
it's so crazy but like me and Kel have been cool for so long like mm-hmm. people don't know because like I, I we don't really film like that and like the stuff she, she films is not with me or anything so people never I guess thought that we had a relationship but we text we hang out and everything so like people I guess when they saw us doing the podcast it was just like what the hell but um we've been cool for so long so it's mm-hmm. like not really a big deal for us <laughs> I like that you're able to still show and have a platform to show like healthy co-parenting or that you guys can get along because I feel like mm-hmm. society also puts this pressure like that you're not supposed to get along right yeah. like, like almost like a competition be like what is our issue like why why don't we like each other yeah, yeah. Not, there is no issue and then it's like there's none we're good yeah so yeah. I'm over here thinking like, dang, could I ever be friends with uh, my son's baby mama? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this this is interesting. I'm learning stuff. I mean, I tell people all the I tell people all the time, like it doesn't happen for everyone. Like people are always like, yeah, yeah. I wish I had that's what I'm also I'm thinking. You're like, it's not for no. me. It's not, <laughs> it's like, it's not <laughs> beautiful, and I'm loving your story. I'm like, but I don't think it's for me. No. <laughs> no. Trust me, you're not the only one that I have spoke to that is the same way. And I'm like, I would never press, you know, someone to be like, yeah, go be their friend. Like, no, if you've had some shit happen to you and it's just not going to happen, it's just yeah. not going to happen. But as long as you guys can be like cordial around each other, oh, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to be beefing and everything. Like, just do what's best for the kid. And that's it. Like, you don't have to be. Yeah. No, I, well, I have. All- yeah. It's always about the kid. All yeah. three of my situations are so different. Yeah. So I think I've almost set like an unrealistic expectation across the board for myself because people see what I'm capable of with V that they expect it to be that way with, you know, Javi's baby mama and then Chris's new baby mama. And it's just not that way. Like they're just so different that I don't think that I'll ever be there with them like I am with V. But sorry you know, that I'm awesome. <laughs> I love that. You're like, sorry that. <laughs> So with how oh, but it's do you handle everything directly through him? Like you, you're not texting her about anything, right? No, Javi and I have a really weird relationship, like with co-parenting and things like he literally was here before I got on this call with y'all. And we were just going over like football plays and like what's happening in our for our football team next month and things like that. And normally we like we'll shut our bullshit off right before football or like anything pertaining to Lincoln we can shut our stuff off you know before we enter the room or whatever but um I don't communicate with his other baby mama at all like we don't there's bad blood there and then the other situation is just very like I don't I've never met her in person ever yeah you never met her at all so yeah you know who she is yeah I know who she is because he cheated on me with her so you know yikes um again like a timeline thing you know what I mean like (laughs) timelines Timelines, man timelines are a little messy so um, I just leave that alone as long as she's good to my kids I'm I'm not gonna touch it I'm not gonna beef with her I'm not gonna fight with her I'm not gonna do any of that because it's just not worth it is it hard though knowing that like someone is around your kids that like you haven't met or don't have like any type of communication or relationship with or is it just like this is what it is I think it's more like this is what it is um yeah I don't I don't I don't think if I even wanted to reach out I don't think that either one of them would be open to it at all Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I don't think that's hard too because you're like I just want to just have a little bit of communication just for our kids. Yeah. I'm fine without it. Honestly, he yeah. does. The kids don't really, they don't, we don't have a 50, 50 order. So it's a little bit different too. In that way. Um, it's very minimal time with them. So yeah. I also, that plays into it. You know what I mean? So, um, I mean, I, it just is, you know, it just is, <laughs> it just is what it is. It is, what it is. Say that again. Is his time supervised or is he just has them like he has to have he has to have the visits at his mom's house, but his mom doesn't necessarily have to be there. Interesting. What? 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 Yeah. <laughs> I don't like, understand. Specific. We want you to be in this building right here, but, but you don't have this person. Don't got to be, be there. there. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't make the rules. I didn't, you know, but that's what the order says. So that's what we did. That's what I hope that he's following. Yeah. Do you have an order with Joe and with Javi? 
Yeah, they're identical. So I literally copy, like we copy and pasted the one with Joe and then it went to Javi and he was pretty, like when we got divorced, it was right off the bat. Like we never went through like mediation or anything. It was like, this is the Delaware state standard is 50, 50. So we're going to copy and paste your order with Joe and it's going to go to Javi. Um, so the same exact holiday schedule, all of that is completely the same. Okay. Yeah. So that makes it pretty yeah. easier. That this makes it a lot easier. Um, <laughs> overstepping i just don't know anything about like orders and stuff yeah, so no I don't, y'all don't have an order no, no. <gasps> so what do you guys do i'm so new i'm, I'm like, like how does this work okay wait i have a question with an order if it's 50 50 do you guys have to pay do they does is there child support? So child or support no. So yes, in technically in the state of Delaware, whoever makes more pays, no matter what the order says. So like say Joe only got one day a week or one day a month, I would technically still owe him because of our incomes. But luckily, you know, Joe, Javi and I have come to, you know, no order. Now to pay him based off of the whole month, not that just that one day. It would be off that one day, but I would okay. still owe him. Got it. Same for Javi. And then for Chris, technically, I would owe him money based on his four days a month. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh but God. they're separate. Like the child support would not be in the custody. Oh, order. Like, I don't like that idea. You said, so like separate. <laughs> you said the order and child support are separate. Separate. So like I could never like Chris is behind, I think like 12 grand, something like that. I can't keep my kids from him because he hasn't paid. Yeah. Because you make more money. No, because because the custody order is different than the child support order. So they're just going to go by the custody order, not by what he's behind on child support. Look at us. We're like, <laughs> us three over here like, really? <laughs> More. How does that work? <laughs> when do you buy? But it's like different in so many different states too. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Jersey is different. Like I'm from Jersey, so I know. I'm I, I different totally too. different custody orders than people down here. Like it just depends where you are. So it's like really crazy. I didn't know that the custody order and child support were separate. I separate. always thought it was like one, one combined thing. thing. No, and that's kind of, it's weird because like you could get ordered to pay and then you don't have to pay and nothing happens. And then you still get your kids. Which is so backwards. So backwards. Like, no. Do you know why free trials renew without your consent? It's a business scam out to get you. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions. Truebill is a new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forget about. On an average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. Because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your account and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions. So you don't have to. I love Truebill because it's shown me all the unused subscriptions I have. And it has saved me lots of money because of it. I use Truebill and so should you. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash think. Go right now. Truebill.com slash think. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill dot com slash think <laughs> no we we <laughs> don't have an order we don't have what do you do yeah, so what is your schedules like like do you just we all have different, we all have, first. We all have different situations <laughs> well, let's hear them i need to hear this because i'm so intrigued For me, at first, after Boz was born, we took, because, so I do, my children's father is in a different state. Yo, baby daddy. (laughs) So I'm in LA and he's in D.C. So oh, I, he's over here. That's like two yeah, hours from me. Yes, yeah. Well, yeah. if you ever visit I him, Delaware, I know it's close on the map, but driving wise, one of my like friends, two hours. Yeah, she used to drive from Delaware, and I used to be like, mm-hmm. that's like a crazy. Vegas trip for us. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. It's well, let me know if you're ever over here. Yeah, now mm-hmm. that I know, I'm like, yeah, oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> that's up. crazy. Um, 
So at first I was flying out to DC like a lot the first year. And I probably spent like between six and seven months just going back back and forth forth to DC. So I would go out there for a long time. And then he would come out here, but not as often. And he would only come for like three days. Whereas I would go for like two weeks or go for like a month. So Mm -hmm. that was that. And then COVID hit. And then I was like, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So then it's like <laughs> has to go out here, but it's like in terms of like a set schedule, we don't have a set schedule. Um, well, you can't because yeah, he doesn't live here. He doesn't live here. Um, in terms of like holidays, he's not American, so he doesn't really care. Care, I would yeah, say, or sure. it's just not part of his life. The only time that he's like dead set on like I need my kids this time is his birthday, which is Valentine's Day. That's um, cute. Yeah, which is cute. So February, like this upcoming February, we're planning to go out there. Okay. Uh, what happen when you start oh, now? Like, we have another kid, and he wants his <laughs> kids on Valentine's Day. When I'm dating, so you guys are so you guys are together though, right? Or you're no. not? Together? Oh, you're not together. You're not okay. together. Never been in a relationship. Okay. <laughs> you said That's this fine. could work to have children, and I'll be in a relate. Like <laughs> you won't be in a relationship, but we'll parent. Like, but we'll parent. Like, like, we'll figure. We'll learn. Yeah. Your work. They were. We, met, we really liked each other. A month later, you know, got pregnant, and wow. that was kid number one. <laughs> and then, so how many do you have together? Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when did you plan the second one? They really liked each other, but they yeah, that's good. I have a, a a seventh seventh week old baby right now. Okay, so you yeah. you planned that one with him, like on purpose, or no? Like there were conversations, but it wasn't planned. On purpose. Okay, okay. I mean, if it works, you guys seem to like each other. So, like, yeah. why? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. She's like, I don't know. Don't yeah, we'll be back out there in February. Okay, well, let us know. We're only we're a uh, hop, skip, and a jump away. Yeah, call us. <laughs> yes. I'm be like y'all talk me off this ledge. Yeah, right. talk, to her. talk to her. Talk, my girl. Don't do it. Just get your ass <laughs> <don't worry. laughs> No, actually, I'm gonna get on birth control. Uh, what you on birth control? It's a big deal. I haven't been on birth control since I was like 17 or Clearly. 18 years old. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We said clearly. clearly. <laughs> And uh, we're not together, but he said something like after, maybe like two days after I gave birth, something about um, a daughter. And I was like, what? Like, not with me. Uh, no? What? Wink, wink. No. So, um, <laughs> oh, birth control. Oh, you have another kid. Yeah, but nobody's having another kid right now. At least not me. Not me. Not I'm me. Here. But my Cheyenne's face right now is like, what in the world? You know, everybody's situation is their <laughs> own. I'm just going to keep my judgmental face this way. <laughs> um, um, is that your is that your spill? Are you done? Yeah, we don't have a schedule. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shannon. We definitely, in my situation, I don't have a schedule. Um, we need to get like them. <laughs> I need to get like y'all. You just taught me a lot about... If y'all are organized. <laughs> well, I, I I didn't know any other way. Like I don't yeah. think that we could have operated without one because we were no. we would fight so much. So like the for us, we were not getting along. And so the order was like, you have to do this. Yeah. I think yeah. we were scared to like even now, we really don't ever like step on another person's toes. Like the order is the order. And if you don't yeah. follow it, yeah. like we don't know what will happen. So we just mm-hmm. kind of try to stay on it. On our last, I feel, like episode, it helps, I feel like it helps us too, though. Like I can't imagine. I feel like our lives would be chaos if we were constantly like, "Who gets who?" My life, life is chaos <laughs> all the time. It's a yeah. lot. I kind of just I took agree. it upon myself to just be like the head of everything, which isn't always easy because everything mm-hmm. just falls back on me, and I just kind of keep a silent face about it no matter if his dad is slacking on whatever situation. And, um, you know, it takes a toll on me, but I kind of just put a face on most of the time. These two know they're like, they're probably, we've been trying to get the evil face. It's to the point where I want to print out the paperwork for her. Like, Mm -hmm. let me help you do this. (laughs) 
Cause yeah, because babies are popping up on the other side. So, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> might be best to get something. Yeah, so, you know, I definitely, I think I'm getting to the point where I'm just kind of fed up. But um, mm-hmm. we've, me and uh, my son's dad, known each other for like 13 years. We were like little high school lovebirds, you can say, but um to this point like we still try to co-parent i like to keep good blood just because that's who i am sometimes yeah. my like niceness can be as uh, come off as like weakness mm-hmm. at times, but you know i just i don't like conversation so i just try to keep it as what's your sign i'm a libra you're my that's daughter. why i, that's why. Why. I was literally gonna say are you a libra because you're my I'm, my daughter has like that same um your daughter's a libra yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm a Libra, but I know you're. I'm the other side. I think because yes. yeah, you're. <laughs> you seem more fiery. Person, I'm like, you want to fight? No. <laughs> oh, that's the crazy. Like thing you, I feel like oh, Cheyenne, Like I feel like you've got like Leo or Scorpio somewhere in your chart or something. They're they're, they're a Leo's day apart. Are, we're a day apart. Yeah. She's literally day after. Yeah. yeah. But I know, because I know a lot of Libras that are ready to fight. And, like, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight if, like... You Don't do like, that. You got to push. You got... I'm, yeah. You're the, type of Libra, you're the type of Libra that, like, once you get to... You don't... Once, you're, yeah, once, once, you, once your button has been pressed far too long, then you yes, get to yeah. where you want to fight. Then I want to attack. To get there. Yeah. Yeah. But so, yeah, my... Our schedule is just... My son's with me 24-7. I'm like I said, I'm really nice. So I'll pop up on his dad at work or like his dad would be like, oh, hey, like, can I bring Parker or can I take Parker? I'm like, you know, so it's like that. So I need I need to be organized more. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it will help you. Like they said, yeah. like having, having something set in stone that both parties have to follow and it's yeah. an actual like this is a schedule. This is your day then I feel like it will help a lot. I agree. Yeah, it'll, yeah. Ease, your anxiety, it'll ease your anxiety a little bit too. Because yes. probably, it's probably, I mean, it seems like you have it now. So if he's going to have another child that comes into the situation, it's just going to get worse. Yeah. Yeah. So I think having something could be a good idea. I mean, don't, I'm not a, don't take my advice. But <laughs> if you were to ask his dad, he'd be like, I've been asked for all this. But yeah. nothing ever happened. But he could do something himself. I mean, he has take initiative. That's what I, I just told that to one of my kids' dads. I said, you want, 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 then do it. Call the yeah. schools, call the doctor's offices, call the courts. Yeah. Like, Girl, I'm not taking this away way. from you. You are not doing what you need to be doing. And then you turn exactly. around and say, well, she keeps my kids from me. Where? <laughs> Girl, <laughs> I feel like 100% because this Do is the work. everything like, oh, I told you I want this, I want that, or I like, why aren't you keeping me in the loop? Like the other day, I was like, oh, Parker's sick, why aren't you telling me? Yo, you can, uh, did you, you ask? Can ask? Hey, how is oh, he doing? You, me. you can t- text give me a good little text. He's like, but you're supposed to tell me. I'm we no. over here chilling. We had a whole day. We day. over here chilling. <laughs> I'm not going to chase you down to tell you about your child. Yeah, but, no, yeah. ask about them. No, ask about them. No, but you're, you're right. Yeah, no, it's for sure that all the time I'm like, well, if you want to you wanna do something, you know, bring yeah. it to the table. You can, yeah, you can give it. me that $10, that $100 you want to give me. <laughs> that money, baby. <laughs> I don't know that why I say <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the action because we know that people, all in the action. people can just talk and spew, spew a bunch of words but it ain't that's nothing until you prove it so yeah, exactly like, be, don't talk about it be about it like that's a real real thing <laughs> Ryan, what is your schedule do you guys do 50 50 i feel like you guys get along so well like what is your situation so we never had anything like written down we never even talked about going to court or anything in the beginning, it was like he was still trying to get to know Ryder because he mm-hmm. came into her life when she was six months. So he would come to at the he would come to my house or my mom's house and would stay there all day, like legit from 8 a.m. to like 8 p.m. He would just be there all day long getting to know her. And he'd come every day until he felt like comfortable enough to say, can y'all come to my house so that Ryder can start to understand like his environment. So yeah. then we switched it and I would go and sit over there. <laughs> and watch him 
be <laughs> dad. Yeah. And then That's eventually crazy. he got bold enough to say, well, can I take her without you coming? Mm-hmm. And I was like, who? You yeah. Like, who? Well, what? What'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> what <is> that? <laughs> um, and then eventually I, that happened. He would start taking her like for a day. And then he got bold to ask for sleepovers. He got bold. <laughs> I, love got bold. Said, I love how she says he got bold. <laughs> it would be like a real like, almost like when you're next to somebody, but you text them so that, because you don't know yeah. what they about to say. <laughs> um, hey, Cheyenne. Oh, I yeah. had this idea about right. our kid. Yeah. Uh, it was, yeah. It was like that at the beginning. Because if we just didn't know, like, we didn't really know each other. And right. that probably makes it so much harder too. like, what's the dynamic? Like, yeah. we don't even know what's going on between us. So like adding this exactly. whole dynamic with the baby is even, it's, it's even so more much harder. People would be something. like, you guys um, co-parent easy because you guys never dated. And I'm like, it's not that it's easy because we never dated. It's actually probably just as hard or if not harder, harder. because where I'm having to ask like the questions that I would have known if we were to date. So like, hey, what's your middle name and how do you spell your last name? And yeah. Right. Do you uh are Sorry, you religious? Do you, do you like still, yeah, like what's your family like? Like, do you celebrate holidays? Yeah. Like what <laughs> like yeah, like how do holidays work? Like, are you yeah. religious? When's your birthday? What about like medical history? Because I know that when I had to take my youngest to a specialist. I asked for the medical history because I didn't have it. He didn't, he wouldn't give it to me. And then I, like, I had to like ask other family members for it, like stuff like that, that like you said, you would have already known. Like that's it's just like stuff that you don't expect to pop up. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's really how Corey came into writer's life was because of medical. You want to click that really fast? So her doctor was like, she was six months and she basically, um, he was like, we need um, to do blood work on you and we need to do blood work on her dad. And he looked at me and he was like, I don't care who her dad is. Get him in here. Like, get me someone in this office because we need to know his history. So then that's when I was like, oh, fuck. So um, <laughs> did the DNA test for option A and then we did the DNA test for Corey and it, it was Corey. Corey. And he was like, <laughs> what office am I going to? Like he was, yeah. but that's how we, that's how he even came in her life was because we needed his medical yeah. and his blood work. Mm-hmm. But now we, um, we split basically everything. So I have her throughout the week and then he takes, he picks her up from school on Friday and then he mm-hmm. drops her off at school on Monday. So did he always live close to you? Like to make that work, to have that happen? So before he, like recently he just moved and now he's probably like, an hour out before we used to live 15 minutes from each other, which made it so easy. easy. Mm-hmm. Things come up as you yeah. guys know. So I, it would be really quick for me to be like, Hey, can you take Ryder today? I need to go do X, Y, and Z or vice versa. And yeah. it would not be an issue. But mm-hmm. now that he lives a little further, it's like we meet in like a Ross parking lot, I think, Pretty or like cool. a Coles or yeah. something to do drop offs and stuff. Mm-hmm. If, um our schedules for some reason didn't work out or like writer's sick right now so she's not in school so we will just meet in the middle um but normally we don't even have to like really see each other because he's picking her up from school school yeah so does he keep her for the whole weekend like if he picks her up gets her on a friday okay Mm -hmm. he'll keep her for the whole weekend and then there'll be some times where writer will be like i want to stay so he'll just keep her or she'll he'll tell me like writer's really just like not feeling it this weekend can like she come back to your house and then yeah. she'll come back to my house so we're pretty flexible um especially with him doing the challenge like sometimes I'll have writer when he does a challenge he's normally gone for like two to three months so I'll have writer for the whole time and then when he gets back he's like can I have her for a couple weeks or something Oh, wow. Okay. So would you get to see her during those couple weeks at all or no? So I would, we, it really depends on like Ryder's mood. We kind of go based off of her. Like if she calls and she wants me, like I talked every day, but if she's like, I want to come home, then he'll bring her home home. and then maybe do like two days. And then she's over me and goes back to him. He's really fun. Like he's, he's (laughs) fun and like active with her. Like he's always, they're always doing something. They're always doing activities. That's like Javi. Javi's the same way. I yeah. get like I'm jealous and I'm like how do you do it 
I feel bad when Lincoln comes, Lincoln like doesn't want to be with me because he's with <laughs> Javi and he's like the fun dad. And I'm like, what about like? I'm sorry. <laughs> but the hard thing, this is I'm literally having my weekends are like right and now in like <laughs> dilemma with Corey is because Ryder associates him with like fun, fun. and fun. Yeah. things, and then she associates me with like school and then after yeah. school the lessons and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to explain to her, and she's looking at me like, "Mom, I don't understand." But I'm trying to explain to her, Mom, he's with you on the on the fun days, the like, weekend. The weekend. Yeah. Like, I don't get you on the weekend. So I can't do fun shit after school when you, uh-huh. when, after school, she does, um, she has tennis, she does gymnastics, she does a oh, Spanish program, too. she has yoga, yoga, like she does science camp, like every day of the week, she I love does that. something, but then it's mm-hmm. time to go home and go like to dinner and get dinner and sleep and stuff. Like that's our time. Together. Routine. Yeah. Right. Where Corey doesn't, he can wake up and they go to the movies and they go to Disneyland and they Disneyland. Yeah, they don't have like, a, it's not like a routine. It's not like a routine the way you guys have. It. Hey, so I will say that like, with that all being said, I also experienced that. And I do feel sometimes, not all the time, some sense of like resentment because it's like, I feel like I do this, the hard shit. Like I do the yeah. stuff that kind of sucks. Like the, the important part. things that need to get yeah. done. Yeah. Like not, not that I don't like doing them, but just like the stuff that is not fun for the kids. Mm-hmm. And then they get to reap the benefits of like, Disney daddy. Fun things, yeah. Like yeah. while I, I'm thankful they're in their, my kids' lives, obviously would never take that away. But it there is a little sense of resentment sometimes because I don't get to do those things. Like Abby yeah. pulled Lincoln out of school, I think last weekend or two weekends ago, pulled him out of school on a Friday and they went to Great Wolf Lodge. And it's like, Aww. one, I could never do that because I have other kids. And two, it's like, like, Oh, how? Like, how would I ever yeah, make like, that happen? Yeah. No, I, I, I agree. And I feel like recently my resentment and my, like, you know, my feelings have been coming out. So I, I texted him last week. I'm like, Hey, I want to take Ryder to Disney on ice. I text my sister, like, let's take the kids Disney on she ice. Was like, oh, I, was, I was so juiced because I felt like I really came up with the plan. <laughs> this boy texts me back a screenshot of his QR code. He had already bought tickets to go. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you guys remind me of me and my sister. Cause my sister has a daughter and my daughter, they're like sisters. Like they, yeah. they don't even call each other cousins. They call each other um, sisters. Aww. So we always do like, every, I'm, I'm always going to Jersey to like take, cause that's where all the fun stuff is. We don't really have shit here in Delaware, but, exactly. <laughs> but we go to like Disney on ice and everything like that. But it's like, not every weekend do we have something going on like to be honest my weekends are like the weekends that I catch up on like my shows like laundry like a whole week you do so much like I work like real estate and then the podcast like and then her school stuff like she's been virtual so it's like always always something like it's always you're always like on mom it's like mom stuff business stuff and then the weekends is like just we just want to come back yeah Yeah. and then on top of it we have to be the disciplinarians and they're like why are you so mean that doesn't matter yes even with my husband I feel like he is so soft with my daughter and I'm like I'm like I cannot be the bad guy all the time. All the time. Like, I just can't do it. Like he's like the he, she looks at him and he, he like you know all he does is like play with her and wrestle with her at home and I'm the one that's like no like go take a shower like go to the bath. Yeah, that's so that's I get good. looked at like I'm yeah like I get looked at as like the stern one and I don't want to have fun and I'm like listen we need to get things done like we have a routine like you're still little you know like you can't just do whatever the hell you want. But I'm like, you need to stop encouraging that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's a little hard to be the weak parent. Not the not weak, weak. as in feelings, but like the weak yeah. day parent. Right, oh, right, right. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, you're not I'm weak. No, 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 but like the weekday parent. You know, yeah. weak, you know, we it's just not the boring days, but kind of like what you were saying, Kelly. Like, we don't get to do order. But then I think about it in the same way because now we have Ace, and I'm like, even if I had her on this on this Saturday, it would be hard to go do something because mm-hmm. of Ace or yeah. Just even with COVID, still like it's not. I'm not it's running hard. to go do things outside of the house, and I'm also yeah. just a homebody. Like I same. Don't, 
really good and safe on my couch. Like, yep. <laughs> I know I could be like the boringest person in the world. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like I love being on my, in my house, watching Netflix, like just yeah. give me some good snacks, give me some good snacks, some nice candles. Like I'm chilling in my house. <laughs> I'm like, I don't need to do something every week, but writers so used to doing oh, something every yeah. weekend with Actually, her dad. Yeah. Then it gets hard when I do have her, um, when he's gone for the challenge, because she's expecting something all the time. Right. And she's like, looking for entertainment. It's not like yeah, hey, she's looking for entertainment. Yeah. She's like, uh, my dad takes me to see the sea lions. But yeah. That's Lincoln. Lincoln is the same way. He comes to my house and he's expecting yeah. things. And it's like, so funny. well, it's just like a, it's a hard balance, I feel like. And I don't, I mean, I hope that when they grow up, they like kind of understand and they don't ever like resent me I don't know I don't think so I think kid yeah I think they have to understand that it's a balance mm. I also feel like writers at the age where she's trying to figure it out like, yeah she's trying to understand having two homes and having two sets of parents yeah. and like do you guys so with your mm. well, I guess with you Kale with the do, how does it work as far as like what do you guys call what do the kids call everybody Isaac used to call Javi dad, um, but obviously with the divorce and things like that, you know, he's back to Javi. They all just call each other. Like all my kids know all my kids' dads, if that makes sense. So like Lux knows Joe and Javi and then Chris and then um, same for Lincoln and Isaac. They know everybody's names. Yeah. And then so just by name. Yeah. I think writers at the at the moment where she's trying to figure out, like sometimes she'll slip and call Zach dad and mm-hmm. Zach always responds and he doesn't make it like a big deal or anything. Yeah, but that like, happens. Yeah, and it happens. And the first time it happened though, me and Zach were both like, freeze. Oh, what you? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know what to do. And I'm like, right. answer her. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> and Ryder was trying to see like, is this okay? Just like testing the water. Like, testing Would you guys be okay with that? Because I know that was a conversation whenever I was married to Javi. Like Isaac started calling Javi dad on his own, and I never corrected it because that was what Isaac felt comfortable with. And I, you know, we I had a conversation with Joe, and Joe was like, you know, he knows I'm here. He knows I'm his yeah. real father. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he really never really gave any pushback on it. And then if Isaac were to ever call V mom at the yeah. time, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. But like over time, if he did, it would never bother me. Yeah. yeah. And I think we take it, I, I I literally would never take it. Like they're so young. So I wouldn't be like, oh, he thinks I'm his actual mom. It's just either they're that's what they're used to saying. And in that environment, I am basically mom. You know, like I have Bibi calling me mom and everyone calls me mom in the house. So when right. he's in the house, he says like, okay, ask mom. Or, you know, like he he refers to me as mom to like Belize and everything like that. And I mean, even when he had slip up as a little kid, I never really was like, oh no, like don't call me mom, call me V. Yeah. Like, but I think he kn- he knows. Like, he usually calls me V, but if he has like a slip up or whatever, I don't correct him. Like, it's like, yeah, yeah. Way- I feel like it's like a yeah. term of endearment. It's loving. It shows that yeah. there's comfort. So it's like, yeah. as an aunt, when I first heard about Ryder, you know, testing yeah. the waters or calling Zach dad, to me, it wasn't like, oh no, like what is this gonna be about? Right. Yeah, I know. I even, like I know you've had conversations with Corey. Yeah, we have it. talked about and it, I, and it's the same thing. It's bound to Taylor, happen. Like it's, Especially yeah, it with there's other kids. Like, yeah. Mila's calling Taylor, Taylor mom. mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was always like, okay. If, but I, it's never happened, like, in person. Like, if we were yeah. both there and Ryder looked at Taylor and said, Mom. Well, <laughs> oh, then you'd be like, wait a minute. <laughs> I think I was like, I was like, but I think because they're so small, like, they don't even, <laughs> I don't, they're not thinking of who we are. I think like I it sounds good in theory a little bit yeah. <laughs> I also don't think writers going around calling Taylor mom, mom. because no, I don't think so. writer comes back from their house I am Taylor for a full day it's like <laughs> he has to get used to the other names in the road yeah yeah hey Taylor yeah, they're so little Taylor yeah. this Taylor that and I'm like I'm your auntie Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said like yeah <laughs> 
But <laughs> exactly. Like they don't even realize they're doing it sometimes. No, so. no. it's just that's that's who's around. So yeah. yeah. But I have to always be careful with what I say <laughs> because if I'm saying, you know, if it happens with Zach, like no one's gonna correct you, it's fine. Yeah. And then everyone always flips it, like, what if she's calling Taylor mom? And I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was fine. It's it's fine. fine. You're, You're like eyes like, twitching. And right. I said it's okay. I'm crying inside. <laughs> but she definitely realizes like oh. who her parents are. Like she, oh, yeah. she, she knows. knows. So oh, they know. I don't think yeah. it's never like that. But even um, we have somebody who comes in and helps us with Ace throughout the week because me trying to get anything done, it was not happening. Yeah. And I heard her one time say something to Ryder, like, oh, go and hand this to your dad. And she said, well, just letting you know, actually, he's my stepdad. Oh, <laughs> oh and I was sitting there like, oh, OK. <laughs> Let her know. Just right? letting you know. Yeah, that is not my dad. Ryder said, I hear you. But yes. Let's put some respect. Like, yes. actual dad. And when right. I heard it, I was like, ooh, right. She said, okay. Hold on. Let me let me stop girl. you right there. Go yeah. ahead, girl. <laughs> Ryder is a no, it's for such sure. co-parenting. I feel like it's never um it's like an ongoing roller coaster. Yes. Yeah. It's never, yeah, cut, you, it's never cut and dry. Like just when yeah, you yes. it's always something new to learn too. It's, yeah. I was going to say, as soon as you think you have it under control, you don't have it under control. No. Yeah. 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 Especially, yeah. especially yeah. As, they grow, yeah. as they grow and like with age too, it's like always something. So it's like. Because then they have more you know, questions. They have mm-hmm. more things to say to you. And you're yeah. like, hold up, really? And then yeah. it's just a lot. I mean, yeah. even Ryder had like this school thing and she had to bring him a family photo. And she had a picture of our family and then a picture of her with Corey's family. Mm -hmm. And she came home and asked like, so why do I have two pictures? And this girl in her class had one picture. And I'm like trying to explain it without also breaking down and like feeling like a shitty mom. Um, As to why she has two family pictures and why she has two homes and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my God, like, is this starting? Like, are the questions starting right now? And my answers, I feel like, are shitty. Like, I don't, I'm like, fuck, I don't know. Like, <laughs> It's officially 2022. And now it is time to set your wellness routine into action and prioritize your health. Care of allows your vitamin routine to be personal, easy, effective, and constantly evolving. Stay on track with your health goals this new year. Thanks to Care of's daily vitamin packs that makes organization and your resolution easy to stick to every day. Care of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins and powders conveniently to your door every month. Take a short in-depth quiz about your health goals and lifestyle and get a personally tailored recommendation based on your answers. You can stick with what Kara recommends or change up your pack at any time. I took the online quiz. It recommended ashwagandha, which I love, B-complex, collagen, and vitamin C. It was so easy to take and now I know exactly what vitamins I need. I am so excited to receive them in the mail. For 50% off your first Care Of order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code THINK50. For 50% off your first Care Of order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code THINK50. You know that's funny? You that, say? <laughs> um, Bibi has a pretty good, like she knows Kale is Isaac's mom, mm-hmm. um, but she doesn't understand how or why she's Isaac's mom right she's like she I still she asked she's like how come you're not Isaac's mom I know the other day she asked me she was like how she was like I know Kale is Isaac's mom but why and I'm like what do you mean like I don't know how to explain that (laughs) I'm like she is Isaac's mom I'm like before before daddy and me had you daddy had Isaac with Kale with, with Kale and he's like okay but how come not you and I'm like I, don't know. I, don't know. I just told you <laughs> I told you the rundown you don't know yeah, you didn't know me take me out the picture <laughs> but, it's, so, but it's so funny and I'm like yeah I was like um you know I was like Kale is Isaac's mommy and like you know when he's here I'm his stepmommy so she's like okay and so like why does he call you mom then when you're here and I'm like he called me mom to you because you call me mom so he doesn't want to confuse you <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> she just asked so many questions, but she's so like intrigued by like our little dynamic and like his brothers and stuff. Like she's always asking for his brothers. Like she loves me. Five. Five. Yeah. Six. No, she's six. Yeah. She just, she just turned six in October, but she's like just starting to ask like the hard questions too. Like she's realizing like this is, it's not just us. Like it's a whole dynamic. Right. Yeah. Well, she even asks me like, oh, like, um, you know, like are his siblings, like my siblings. And I'm like, no, they're not your siblings. I was like, those are Isaac's siblings. And she's like, she just doesn't get it, you know, but I'm like, like, time you'll understand, like as we get older, but it's just funny to me because she catches me sometimes and I'm like, holy shit, I don't even know. Right. Like when you're not even thinking about it, they catch you so off guard. You're like, wait, hold up. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, it's like normal. Yeah. To us, it's like normal. So it's like, I don't feel like I need to explain it ever to anybody because to me, it's the norm. So for someone someone looking in like her as a little girl, it's like, how do I even explain that? It's, it's weird. It puts me in like this weird ass, like, I'm like, holy shit. I just want to make sure I'm explaining it to her. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? So that's like crazy to me. On one hand, I feel like I question myself a lot. Like is my situation going to mess my kids up for the future, like in their relationships. And then on the other hand, it's like, okay, I feel like I have explained it to the best of my ability on their level. Is it going to be more helpful that they understand that different family dynamics are okay? Yeah. Or are they going to look at it as like a negative? And I don't know. I'm hoping that with like explaining it to them well, that they would you know, understand that, like, it's not ideal, but we make it work. You know what I mean? Yeah, Yeah. that's okay. Like, I think it's okay to talk to them and let them know. Because for Mm -hmm. Shia and I, we come from blended families. And it's not just our parents, but like our grandparents Mm -hmm. were divorced and got remarried. But it's like, we were still able to coexist and still able to do things. And like, I think what what the family, like a traditional family, what that looks like is changed. Yeah. 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 In many different ways. Like there's there's so many different situations now where you can have two moms, you can have two dads, you can have um blended families and then you can all, always just have your mom and dad boo boring no just kidding um <laughs> JK JK um, oh but, you know you can there's just the family just looks so different now and I yeah. think that that is how I always explain it to a writer is that not everybody's family is the same yeah right ours is different but everybody's is different but mm-hmm. as long as like there's love and you feel supported by everybody in the family then there's no issue like right yeah. but back to what Kayla is saying I think I feel like the same way as I don't having so many different blended things and situations and brothers and sisters coming up I think I always think about am I damaging him in the long run but like you said you it's just explaining it and making sure they know there's all these dynamics because I think I'm struggling with that a little bit of knowing how to come to my son about like, oh, you have a sister, you have a brother, but they're still your siblings and they have different moms and it's all love. But it's just, as a mom, when it hits you, you're like, oh, here it comes. Like, yeah. right. Like, you're never, you're never prepared. I never have to prepared. tell my, my young child, which I feel like makes them have to grow up a little bit differently than what they see at school right no I my two younger ones they well I call them the babies they just had a sibling on their dad's side and this is the woman that I've never met in person and um he came home and he's like I you know I met my baby brother and I was like that's great like um you know do you understand and he was like no and I was like so daddy had like a baby with someone else do you know who the mom is and he's like no like he doesn't understand that like his dad had a child with a different woman and like how that makes the baby like he doesn't get it well, so it wasn't I just, to him it wasn't even explained to him either so he's not gonna really have to true so then I can't like make up the situation like I can't tell him without it coming from both yeah. sides you know what I mean so does the, does his dad you're saying his dad doesn't also explain it to him well, so I, I don't think that his dad ever told him about the baby until the baby was born. Mm-hmm. See, that's confusing within itself. That's a problem, but it was to spite me. He didn't want me to know. So he knew that if he told Lux that he would come home and tell me 
Does that make sense? Yeah. But then that's more damn in that situation. That's that just stressed me out a little bit. I'm <laughs> my whole life is stressful. <laughs> I've had that happen to me when yeah, I was my dad. My dad had like three different kids and I never knew until I saw his wife actually about to pop and give birth. And well, not his wife, his whatever. She oh, was. Yeah. So I know like that feeling, like as you get older is like a little, it's like a punch in the gut. Like you couldn't even bother to tell yeah. me. You know, as you get older, it kind of becomes something that you don't, you look at the parent and you're just like, hmm. <laughs> like, why does, work? Like, what are we yeah, doing? How, how does that work? Like, <laughs> it's a little, also too, it's a little- to them, them knowing everything sometimes, like Ryder mm-hmm. knows everything. And because of that, like we've had to correct her and change some things, like because she saw Taylor um from you know start to finish with her pregnancy and then my sister pregnant and then me pregnant she's kind of stuck on like pregnant right now so when she <laughs> plays dolls every barbie is pregnant let's play house and i'm like okay ryan and then she's like okay and i'm like watching her and she starts to stuff her she's shirt stuffing and shirt. i'm like what are you doing and she's like i'm pregnant i'm about to have a baby and i'm like no no, no ryan like Let's, oh yeah let's play Parker like a different way in boss right. dad. yeah but I'm she's like, bro, i'm also you're like, not a dad it's, it's i have to realize that she's been around pregnancy so much that yeah, that's her norm like she's mm-hmm. thinking that you know she's playing but i'm like can we not play pregnant <laughs> like, i have pregnant i had that question up to me the other day um I don't know if she saw like a, I think it was like a picture of me pregnant or something like that. So she brought it up and she was like, oh, one day, like I'm going to be pregnant. And I was like, girl, that day is far, <laughs> far from here. I was like, do not, I was like, get that out of your head. Like, I don't even want to hear the word pregnant in this house right now. <laughs> uh, it's wild, right? Sometimes we're but going it's like, to he's a it. little girl. Talking about, oh yeah, you know, when I get older, I'm going to get pregnant and I'm going to do this. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Let's just hold on. Like, don't get me wrong. Pregnancy is a beautiful like, thing. It'll happen. It's it's so we beautiful. go through it, but you're 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 a baby. Little. So, like, yeah, I don't that pregnancy. Yeah, so, yeah like, I, can't, I, can't I can't even be hard. mad. I can't be mad at her because this is what she's been seeing. Like yeah. she's been seeing so many pregnancies. <laughs> <laughs> In her head, she's like, she's like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, like, I'm 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 yeah, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, auntie's trying to buy herself a house first. Right, I was gonna say let's That's let's work on all all the adults getting houses and then the next generation. So, you know yeah. about her pregnancy and or her, her pregnancy her house. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> it's nuts, but it's it's all what she's seeing because she saw her dad and Taylor go through the process of them getting moving, house, yeah. and she's been with me and Zach and going through the process of us moving. So now she's stuck on who's buying her a house, and I'm like, right. That's so That's interesting. Y'all can pass it down. Generational wealth. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's what every, anytime she asks me, I'm like, go ask your mom. Right. Go ask, go ask, ask mom. mom. Mm-hmm. It's really funny. It's really funny, like bringing up the whole um, like blended family stuff because, like I said, like I I come from a blended family too. Like I have a step a stepfather, and I've had stepmothers my whole life. So I feel like it's so normal to me. Like I didn't even realize that my daughter thinks my my stepfather is my actual father. And to me that I didn't, I never thought I had to explain that because to me, he is like my father, you know, until she ended up finding out, like she knows now that he really isn't my dad, but I call him my dad. So, but like, otherwise I would never explain that to somebody, you know, cause it's so yeah. normal, but I'm like, damn, like she really is growing up around like a really, you know, blended families because it's coming from me. And then also my, my husband too. And then you know, our situation as well. Like she's all around, even though she's not specifically in it, it's all around her. So I feel like she kind of, like she she gets her dose of like what it is to like be yeah. a blended family and like what it looks like. So I feel like that, like I'm okay with that. And I love that she sees that because like a ton of, like everyone that I know has a blended family or has step parents or step, like it's just becomes like somewhat normal. Um, yeah. So and I feel like- yeah, so I feel like just her knowing and like being around it is like kind of opened up, you know, she's like, okay, this is, this is, this is just what it is. Like, this is my yeah. family, you know, and that's just what it is. I agree. And that's how it should be. I feel like they should just see it and understand that we're all family in some yeah. form or fashion. This yeah. is just how it is. I mean, the sad dad is Ryder's tennis coach and Ryder's trying to 
understand the separation of Coach Terry, but also Papa him Terry. being Papa Terry to yeah. Ace. And she's mm-hmm. like, well, can I call him Papa? And I'm like, yeah, you can call him. Yeah. You know, whatever you want. Yeah. You can call him whatever you want. And he's like, call me Papa. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. Yeah, he's like, yes. That's so cute. That's so, so cute. It's, it's like, <laughs> I'm now seeing that it's, we were already a blended family, but now we're introducing a whole nother family. Yeah, exactly. It's always, like you said, it's always something. Like, it's never, I feel like it's never ending. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Yeah. The way your guys are doing it. Yeah, it just depends. I mean, Ryder asked me the other day, can she hang out with Ace and Mila at the same time? She said, I want to take Aww. a picture with both of them. Oh, my heart. Now I'm like, ah, fuck. So <laughs> would you ever do that? Like, would you have, like, would you do a family shoot? That would be so oh, cute. Yeah. Boz was supposed to have a birthday party and Mila and Corinne Taylor were coming, but then Boz got sick, so it was canceled. And that was going to be like my Your opportunity. My opportunity. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. we're all going to be together. Now I'm like, I'm yeah. like, okay, I got to talk to Corey, Corey and tell him like Ryder wants a picture with both of her siblings. Uh, I was um, on my other podcast. We were talking about um, keeping family photos in like your kid's room. And I guess there was like studies shown that it like helps children to have pictures of their family members like around them. And so we were talking about like, you know, do, do I have pictures of like my, my kids other side of the family? And up until that point, I really didn't. So I, it was really important to me to get like a picture for Lincoln of me, Javi and Lincoln for, for my house. And then I recently had Isaac printed out pictures of his dad's side for my house, like in picture frames. Cause I feel like, you know, it's none of the kids faults, right? Like, right matter how greatly and smoothly it goes or or not it's you know the kids should all get along and should all be you know be siblings so um that would be so cute v we should we should also try to get we the kids have bunch, we have a bunch of pictures of our kids together but i think it ends at lux we don't have any with creed so far yeah but i feel like for isaac's birthday we should try and like just get a picture of all of them that's so cute yeah, like, I I have we have so many of like me, you, Joe, and then the kids. And it's funny because as we get older, as the years go on, the kids just increase. Mm-hmm. Like, it's only me increasing them. Yeah, it's always a new kid in the in the family picture. <laughs> and it's so funny. I it's noticed so that the other day Ryder was at her dad's house and we were on FaceTime and she always likes to do like tours. And she was showing me her bedroom and the, bell, the phone kind of fell and it was facing up. And, you know, my nosy ass, I'm looking at everything. I was like, What's there, going on? And there was a picture. Right. And I kept looking. So I'm like, what is that picture of? <laughs> and then I realized it was me. It was a picture of me, Ryder and Corey. And it was on her wall. And oh, I was like, I, I was like, I never thought about having yeah. pictures of her. like writer of us three around so it's, yeah. it's weird that now that you brought it up again i'm like hey maybe this is a sign that i need no, i for sure have a, family, yeah. Yeah, I have a family photo of me robert and parker a, a old one but it's on his little dresser and he he looks at it and sometimes he'll like put it in my face and i'm like dude what are you trying to tell me <laughs> he for sure has little family photos we have photos around my house I need, I need to start printing out more family photos. Oh, I do like the books, like the I picture need to books. I go to the club and get some pictures printed. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, I I'll get to books. it. I have pictures of like Boz and I printed out, like just with, or Boz and printed out, but not, not the three of three. us. No, I have plenty of pictures of the three of us. So I'm going to print some out. Yeah. So I feel like that also helps the kid just like, now that I'm thinking about it, feel safe and know that, you know, there is love yeah. by mommy and daddy and mm-hmm. this is your family and that's okay. Yeah. I, mean, I made Vivi like those little chat books that you can put all the pictures yeah. in. Oh, chat- that's cute too. Yeah. And, yeah. I put pictures of like everyone in there, like all her family. And then I have Kale and like her kids in there. Like remember that photo shoot that we did when we first yeah. started yeah. that crazy ass photo shoot we did? <laughs> All the, kids. all the kids <laughs> so I have pictures of like her and like Lincoln and Crete like everyone everyone is in that book so I, she was like oh it's Miss Kale because she calls her Miss Kale <laughs> that's weird that is so weird I'm not Miss Kale just call me Kale, Kale. I'm not a Miss Kale. <laughs> I love that she does it because she gets so mad <laughs> I'm not Miss Kale she loves calling her that though I don't know why she's 
as soon as she'd be like, Miss Kale, she thinks it's cute. So I can't, I can't say stop because she loves doing it now. Okay, fine. (laughs) (laughs) Miss Kale. Oh my God. Respect, (laughs) respect. I'm so happy that we got to do this together. Babe, it was fun. We should do it again. We should do it in person. That would be fun. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, we'll go to California. We'll go, we'll go over there and see y'all. I'm yeah, always down to write it off as a business trip. Oh, <laughs> yeah, let's do it again, but let's do it in person. I agree. I think it's yeah, yeah, let's do it. A lot of fun. Thank you for having us on your podcast. Yeah, thank you thank guys you. So for coming. We end every week with a. Um, you can either give advice or you can and share WTF. a WTF. So your what the fuck moment of your week or advice that you want to give. V, you go first. Let me think on this. Hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have plenty. Um, um, WTF or advice? Uh, I'm trying to think of a WTF because I know I probably have a ton of those. Yeah, um, I always do WTF. <laughs> I, I think so. I'm a walking meme half the day. <laughs> yeah, same. I feel like I also am. I'm trying to think. Like, I you want are. a juicy one because, like, I've... Yeah, we want you to give us a juicy one. Right. Like, let me hold on a second. Well, I mean, you go first. No, you go first. I'm still thinking. <laughs> I'm like, what like us. Do y'all have one? Do you have one? I don't have one. Kyle, you, are, think you of probably have You just one. said you're a walking meme, so there you go. You have a mine, all have to do with like breastfeeding. Well, that's like good advice. Like, breastfeeding. <laughs> You can give some advice on breastfeeding. I'm still trying to think. I, I mean, yeah, I can give some good advice. Um, well, actually, um, I do have a what the fuck moment. Um, so I have been alone this week because my husband went to um, his company does like these training events and whatever. So I decided to like do a bunch of fun stuff with Bibi this week. Cause I'm like, you know, it's just the two of us. Like I know ne- it's never just the two of us. Like it's always either him there or then my mother-in-law lives with us now. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to like do some fun things with her. And I, <laughs> we ended up going to like this little light show and I thought it was going to be like this huge spectacular S event. And we got there and it was like a drive through thing. And it was only like five minutes and I was hyping it up all day. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. So then with Bibi- <laughs> When Mimi got there, she was like, Mom, like, this is it. <laughs> and Do I better. Like, it was like an hour away. So I was like, okay, I just wasted like an oh, hour no. to go to this fucking, like, it was cute, but it was like so fast. And it was just not what I expected. I thought it was going to be super shabby. So that was like, it my was a fourth an hour drive. No. I, thought I, was doing, I thought I was doing something. I was like, oh, we going to this winter wonder fest. And she was all excited all day. And then we get there and we were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> So that's my what's up. Hey, oh my god. Kill, what do you have? I'm trying to think. I have a what the fuck moment, but I don't know if it's appropriate for this podcast. It's appropriate. (laughs) If you want me to how about we play a guessing game? Which cast member from Teen Mom sent me a treadmill? Oh, I know this one. Okay, wait, Teen Mom OG or Teen Mom 2? I can't say. V, shut the hell up. Somebody sent you a treadmill? Yeah, girl, you know I'm overweight. Uh, Did they they send it out of love or out of No, baby, they did not send it out of love. Not out of love. Um, Is it a workout person? Three. Ding, ding, ding. I'm dead. (laughs) What the fuck? That's her what the fuck moment. Okay, question. Was it a nice treadmill? No, like, bitch, if you want to stun on me, stun on me. Get me a fucking Peloton. Did you get a North Trek? I would be No, it was from Walmart. (laughs) (laughs) How did she have your address? address? I didn't even have my address. I didn't even have the address. The house is not done yet. I was like, what? Wait, she sent it to the new house? Yeah, babe. Did she did she sign the card? Like, was it a nice? Yeah, I had her name I on it. I thought she sent it to your, your house that you are now. Did you say thank you? 
I didn't. I'm going to set it up in the dog room. So I don't, cause obviously I'm lazy and overweight. So like my dogs could use Stop it. You know? I don't, I obviously don't walk and like work out. So I'm going to let my dogs. Let yo. your dogs. Run run dogs? <laughs> Thank you. Now I don't have to walk the dog. Is there something going on between you and Brie? When is there not something going on? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hi, BB. Go down a whole other rabbit hole. So that's my what the fuck moment this week. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a real what, what the, the fuck, fuck moment. Tiff <laughs> is like, what? How'd you get my address? F you for sending me this, this treadmill. That's not bad. Like, I hate that. that it, I just. I always, I, like I try not to feed <laughs> in and like read all the BS online because there's a lot of BS online, whether whatever's true or not. Like, who am I to say? No. But fuck. A whole treadmill. Like, that's okay. I, I could retor- return it and get store credit and then like buy groceries. So also thank you. Buy some Christmas gifts and give it to people. Thank I you. just really hope that you guys one day can stop. Just not even get along, but just work it out. No, not even work <laughs> it out. Work it out. out. Literally just and leave figure it, it to me. Like, leave it alone and just, just don't leave it alone. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. everybody yeah. just leave it alone. Because cl- yeah. there's never going to be a time where you guys are going to be cool. I don't even see you guys being cordial, but I just think if everybody just called it. Left it alone. And left it alone. Yeah. That's fair. That's mm-hmm. fair. Then I, feel, maybe, I agree. Yeah. You are burning in that girl's head. But. A whole treadmill, <laughs> though? I'm stuck. I'm going to be stuck on that for a minute. Do you, you want it? I can send it to you. <laughs> I just want to see a picture of I it. need to get out of my hey, house. I got a treadmill in my house. So I need to work my fat ass out, too. But I just want a picture of the treadmill. I just, I need proof. I didn't set it up because I literally <laughs> am putting it in my dog's room. But here. Still in the box. She's about to walk the dog. Thank she you. sent me a picture of it, and it was still in the box. But it looked really small. It's, yeah, it's like, well, if I'm overweight, I'm obviously going to break this thing. I feel um, like we win with the what the fucks and we can't even go this right. way. Oh. I'm honestly still in shock because I'm like, that girl really did a whole lot of work. Oh, she really oh, did. Too. That's she a real ass box. box. I just okay. don't want to get Yep. Wow. She's about to set it in my dog's room. <laughs> wow. That's the tea, <laughs> That's the tea sis. That's the tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, guys, this is so <laughs> fun. I can't wait to do this again. Thank you for yeah. listening to the Think Thank Loud crew and Baby, Baby Mama's, Mama's No, no drama. drama. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, there's a whole treadmill. Like, can we help? Baby Mama's. There's a whole yeah. Yeah. Mama's. <laughs> Plus, um, A whole wife right here and a fiance. A fiance. But- can't what? relate. Oh, Cannot relate. Yeah, can I can't relate. relate. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Thank you guys for having us on. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you guys. It's been a fun time. We'll see you that guys great. I'm going to text you guys after this. Okay, All perfect. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.